Hey guys, it's Jet, and today I will be teaching you a really cool Sony Vegas trick. It's how to mask out your effects and make it look all neat a burrito. Like, you know, on Mishima's, how they make like their Spartan talk through a TV or something like that. If you guys don't know what I'm really talking about right now, you guys will in a second because this uh, effect is pretty easy to do. Really nice, too. So, um,. Excuse me if I'm kind of stuttering a bit because I really don't script my commentary, so get over it. Okay, so first of all, you're going to have a picture of a TV or something. Um, I'm using a Halo Reach, uh, a picture I got off Bungie.net. I just put it on my file share, then I went on Bungie.net and saved it as a picture and put it on my computer. So, yeah, anyways, this is uh, Halo Reach. The map is Highlands, and uh, first of all, this is what you want to do. You're going to want to get your first clip. And then you're probably going to want to put your another clip. It can be anything. It can be a video, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to be using a picture. Use a picture. I'm making sure this is the right one. Uh, yep, that's the right one. Okay, so I want to do this. You know, looks like a nice, high quality picture. So all you really want to do is just go to where it says pan and crop. Click this little. Uh, oh wait, don't do that. Go down to where it says mask. Check that thing. And then you just want to make you just want to have a brief uh, cutout of the TV. All right, so here we go. Uh, I'll do that. Then that. If you if you guys hold shift while you're doing this, um, the lines will be straight no matter where you do it. So that's what she said, by the way. So that's just a little helpful hint. So if you guys are perfectionists like I am, I don't really like that because it was kind of curvy. I know I shouldn't care, but I do. But uh, yeah, just hold shift and it'll be a straight line. And then you just connect it like that, right? And then it's like, oh shit, but wait, that's not how he wanted it to look, right? No, that's not how he wanted it to look. So all you got to do is just make this negative, and then you can play around with the opacity. Uh, make it like that, you know, however much you want to see it, um, like that. But uh, I'm going to keep it at 100. And feather type, both. I really don't like to mess with feather type that much because I don't really see anything that it really does. Oh, you got to turn this all the way up. And it like, looks like this. It's kind of cool. I mean, not the coolest effect. But if you guys like it, you can use it like that. And you see, you can do out. You see how it looks like when it's out. That's how it looks like when it's both. Um, just the basic. And you could play around with this some more. Uh, make this in. And yeah, it's basically how it looks. It looks really cool. But you guys probably are still wondering why it looks like like that because you want to see my Spartan's face. So all you got to do for this part is click where it says track motion. Click that beautiful little button and then just shrink it by holding it and dragging it down. And then you can move it around like that. My computer's kind of lagging right now. I have a really old ass fucking Clint Eastwood computer. Sorry guys. Um See, and you can just play around with it. Pretty nice. Oh, you saw the black. You don't want to go down. It's all the black. <laughs> that sounded racist. But anyways, uh, yeah, it looks like that. You can put it around a little bit, you know, see. Looks pretty cool. And then you got your little TV effect. You can work with anything. It's super easy to do, and it's pretty cool. So hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, thumbs up. If you want to see more, call me at... Actually, don't call me. Well, what am I thinking? Anyways, if you guys liked it, just like it in the video. So, nice talking to you guys, and I'm out.